Uh, Doctor. What? What? I don't think we landed. I don't think we exactly landed on the moon. I think it's on on the moon. Uh, yeah. Wait, why can't we even? Why Has your TARDIS even... gone miniature again, like in your twelfth? <laughs> That's what I thought. So I'm not gonna do that again. I'm not. No, I'm not. I already talked to you hey, about I... that. I already talked to you about that in your thirteenth. I'm not going through that again. Um, well, this is kind of problematic because we can only just see the wait. We can see the creatures. Wait, how come? Oh, this is a. Um, let me, I just need to check something real quick. You see there? Hmm. See where? Whoa! You fallen off? No, don't worry. That was just the um, low gravity. Yeah, I no, I don't jump. I see where. Uh, that I know why we didn't land on the moon now. Um, Fizz. Doctor, I see it. Yeah. So we're still in the Earth's atmosphere, but up above. What? Well, scan what? it. Scan it. What? We're still in the Earth's atmosphere. Um, Fizz. Hmm. What's that? Doctor. Isn't that the moon? Yeah. Isn't this the moon? Yeah. Is this a piece of chunk of the moon? No, because this is round, like the moon. Then, ooh, 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 ooh. Doctor, our gravity boots aren't working very well. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, the, I think the Earth's, I mean, the Earth's gravity's kicked in. <sighs> See, this is, they were made in my TARDIS, so I need my TARDIS to do this. Wait. Oh, the key's buggered. Oh. It won't even summon the TARDIS. I can't get the TARDIS using the key. I think I'm... Wait. Did you see something else on there, like sand? Yeah. Yeah, uh... Wait. wait, Doctor, didn't we just come from... Oh! That's is the what TARDIS even to... real, for crying out loud? Yeah, it's real. Ah, uh, that's what they was gonna do. What did you the do? Super... The supernova wouldn't have reached that moon, would it? Well, no, it wouldn't have, obviously. And you said if it if the supernova bounces off the dark side of the moon, it would. Well, if, you said the supernova would bounce off the dark side of the moon. If it bounces well, the, off this, the light would hit it, then, and the power would go with it. Exactly. So basically, it would bounce off this, and it goes straight for that one, and then it will be ten times as bigger than what it originally was. So basically, we stop. We didn't. We screw. We didn't. Uh, we made sure no. that this wasn't screwed over. It would have destroyed like. What, it would have destroyed another galaxy, maybe? Or the half the galaxy? Half the Milky Way? No, it would have done even worse. Oh, there's a reason I want to go back to Gallifrey. Right. You know how they were trying to get into the time vortex, yes? Yep. Now, if they're using a supernova, what do you think would happen to the time vortex with them? The, su the only supernova. Ta only Time Lords and, and a TARDIS are allowed in the time vortex. But they have. A TARDIS, and if if and if you remember correctly, if the TARDIS catches onto something and it drags it through, it splits a hole in the time vortex, and that supernova would have been ten times bigger. Which means the time vortex would have been split, and wherever that wherever the sun is touched, and you have to use a t the time vortex to get to another universe, don't you? Yeah, and also I just realized now I know why the city's no longer there. Uh, Doctor. Is that getting bigger? Scan the moon with your sonic. With my, well, my sonic. Uh, there it is. It is not getting. It's sort of getting bigger, yes, but it's actually your 15th incarnation is on there. Uh, hi! It, Wait. <laughs> That's funny. Let me. I'm not. Con no. Oh no. I'm not connecting. I'm, there's no way I'm going to connect to your TARDIS. No. How, I just, how are I just, how are two of your TARDIS is allowed in a universe together? Uh, because, like I said, this is a parallel universe, and the time streams are catching up. Oh, that is brilliant, Doctor. Yeah. Not the time. What? 
We need to fix this from inside the TARDIS. We are going to the real moon if we can. <laughs> we can't. We actually can't. Not this time it's ever gone. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wouldn't that... Yeah, that would screw up your timeline. Mm-hmm. Also, that... Well, as if you haven't met yourself before, your first incarnation, for well, example. Well, also, um, that is the moon, all right, but it's in a parallel universe. So there's a window. That's what I've been trying to say. That's why I said, oh, brilliant, because the time seems to, like... If you mess up, step on too many butterflies, it would mess with the timelines, wouldn't it? And then you would see two at the same time. The butterflies again just kill me. Just. I, I, this incarnation is, is addicted to the butterfly effect. I'm sorry. This incarnation is addicted to jelly babies, actually, so think about that. Yeah, that was my fourth doctor. Uh, jelly babies. I'm still glad I didn't meet him. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, I'm a jelly baby. I want a jelly baby. I don't even like jelly babies anymore. Okay, you're still weird. I like your oh, tenth. Bro. I I would I would like to meet your tenth though. Uh, any <laughs> more stage? Because well, yeah. Not the Donna Noble stage. Give me a break. Oh God, please don't. <laughs> uh, shut it, Earth Girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fucking remember. All right, shut it, Earth Girl. Yep. <laughs> You're a Martian, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, you were not a Martian. You were. Uh... Right. Um... I, by the way, I got this all from your TARDIS. It actually sent all of your regenerations that I hadn't met to my TARDIS. Right. Uh, I just got. Uh, just real quick. We got this at the same time. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I think I might have something that can help in this situation. Oh. Um. <laughs> Want to try it? Can Can we try my idea first? And if it doesn't work, then we try that. Come on, you're no fun anymore, I'm telling you. Oh, this is going to be fun. Uh, Alright, fine. Right, you need your Sonic. I need my Set Sonic. It. No, no, I don't trust you with this. Alright, come on. Set it to the um, silver setting. So I, I figured out you had one. Yeah, you should stop messing with the Sonic. It might not... Alright, now Sonic my boots and I'll Sonic yours. Uh, oh. Alright, three. There you go. Okay. Well, I think... Uh, okay. Okay. You bet you right. You good at running? Yes. Sort of. That way. That. Okay, okay, come on. You you go first, Doctor. If you say so. Doctor, you're an idiot. <laughs> I hate you so much for this. Woo. Doctor. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> doctor. Yeah. That was a brilliant solution. I know. But I'm still getting back to my TARDIS. How do you work this thing? Um. Come on, come on. Uh, no. Ooh, ooh. Broke something with it. Ooh. Break I do believe it. the timelines are messed up. Uh, um. Uh, 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 That's not Fizz. what I meant to do. Come on. Come on. Work. Ooh. ooh. Face, turn around. I gotta stop messing with this vortex. I don't believe that I found silence under this. Hmm. Um, where's your TARDIS? Where's yours? Well, I know where yours is. Yeah, mine's up there. Come on, My- come on. <laughs> it is in Cardiff, ain't it? Uh, it's <laughs> static. Uh, it's not even responding. Where's my TARDIS? It's in Cardiff. It's sealed. Oh, okay. You just Doctor. Doctor. Yeah? It's sealed. Oh. Wait, that wasn't so good, wasn't that? Wait, we didn't look behind us, so it could have closed behind us. It, no, it could have, yeah. Could have been booby trapped and we got it just in time. Wait. Wait. Seriously, how do you work this thing? I need to get out of here. Was what? that Jack's by chance? What? Was that Jack's by any chance? Jack's? Yeah, as in Captain Jack. Partners? That wasn't Jack's, so no, actually. Yeah. Was, uh, like no, it, doesn't work. it was your wife's, actually. <laughs> that was Jackson, you stupid idiot. This, it... <laughs> no, Ch- well, I got Ch- it from your wife, is what I mean. I know, I'm looking at the back. Uh, I know why. She She's deadlocked it. <laughs> your, your wife has deadlocked the... Yeah. La la la, la 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 la. See this? Silver setting. 
See, see the, see the, see the uh, lava over here, Doctor. Uh, wait, before you do it. So, oh, 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 yeah, <laughs> I love the Doctor. I love you. You're amazing. And uh, aha, mine. How do you think I upgraded the boots? It's basically silver setting does deadlocks. <laughs> yep, there we go. No. Silver settings does deadlocks, and you wonder why I got this from a Type 50. You are such a pain. But I'm also a genius. We're all all time lords are that are geniuses because we learn about oh, all the time. He's just plain stupid. Ooh, a savanna. I gotta go visit that later. I wouldn't. Huh? That is just a hologram, like everyone else. Because, like I said, time. Stop ruining up. my fun. I haven't been to a savanna yet. Um, seventy-five six two zero 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 one. Really? Oh no. Yeah. Is that a good one? It's the best one. Don't tell me that was uh, the zero, the last zero, zero. We're galactic coordinates, of course. Mm -hmm. That is oh. Earth, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. So the last, so <laughs> I was, I was at Area Fifty One, and you will not believe this. The there was actually lava there, but it was a hologram around a around a Cyberman ship to scare all the Area Fifty One members. And I thought I was going to Twenty Fifty Seven, but instead I went to or Twenty Twenty Seven, rather. But instead, I was at um, when the when it was just formed, actually, when the prison was just made at the beginning of Area Fifty One. I want to test something real quick. What the? Uh, oh no. Huh? Is it fascinating? Wait. Um. What? What's up, Doctor? That moon's got lower. Has it? But the stars ain't moving. Wait. The stars aren't moving. The stars aren't moving. But the moon is. Wait, which moon? Oh, that one. Yep. Yeah, it has. I'm taking these boots off, I'm afraid. <laughs> Screw that, I'm out of here. I don't need boots. Goodbye, I'm going to take your TARDIS. I'll bring it down here, I think. Alright. Whoa! Doctor. I think the silver setting drained the power on my boots. Uh, no. Um, if you drain the power, you won't be doing that there. Hmm. It's, the, basically, the moon's got a shield, so... You can jump off, but you can't get on. Sounds like the TARDIS. <laughs> Sounds like the master. You can you can open you can open door from the inside, but if you try and get it from the outside while it's deadlocked, you'll well you won't just get it. Yeah. You just won't get in. Hmm. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna. I hope you have big ears like the ninth generation. Hey. Just, what? I've heard enough about the ears. You do. Look at you. Did you um by any chance have a what is, what type of settings do you have on your site real quick? Like ones that I won't know of. Oh, well, I have a undead lock, obviously the silver setting, and then I have, um, I'll have the destruction setting, and then, well, <clears throat> I kind of took the master sonic, and it's, there's a de-aging setting, and the last one would be the AM laser setting. Why? Do you think that destruction setting will blow the door down? The destruction setting? Yeah, the door. Oh yeah, it'll blow the door down, simple. Because we can use that TARDIS to reverse what the silence have done, and then we'll be good. Okay, well, let's try this. Three, two, one, Doctor. Ooh, ooh. Oh, genius. Look at that. The destruction setting's fun for me. Really? Oh, you see? The silence of the TARDIS, it didn't get damaged. Look at that. I made sure to set to that. Don't worry. All right, uh, quick laser setting. Ah, here we go. Woo! Where have you gone? Hi. I used the laser setting on that one. Okay. Ah! Ooh. Okay, Go away. still here. Yeah, it's super nice. It's basically... Right, we've got a set... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Get out of there. <laughs> Stop sitting. We don't have time for this. I'm going over sometimes. Right. Let's just... Um... Right, I've set it to reverse what it's done. And we should be good. And Geronimo. You 
Yeah, you don't say that anymore. For God's sake, don't. Just don't say that. Oh, it's not good. All right, whatever. I, I wanted to say one. Uh, oh, oh. Okay, hang on. Okay. You're trying to ship it back. What is going on? Whoa. Well, huh? I guess. I think you're. Well, is there one way to find out? Yep. Woo! I'm going up my special. Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> oh. It moved. What? <laughs> You'd expect it to, of course. No, like, it's moved a couple of blocks forward. Yeah, I think it has. Can I have that time later? Because my heart is, you know. I'll give you your back. Don't worry. Come on, I'll take you. And, oh, okay. go. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you were hoping to say goodbye. Did you this, jump this, when we landed? Are you kidding me? Uh, you don't uh, use these things very often, do you? Um, just so you know, we might want to take goodbye real fast because time is catching up and this moon's about to go. Uh, well, let's just levitate a bit. Uh, <clears throat> so I will see you later, Doctor. I hope to see you again, of course. Hopefully before my I regenerate. Do you hear that? Oh, the cluster bell! I'm out of here. Bye. I know it. I knew it wouldn't like being in this loot universe. <laughs> Stupid box! What is wrong with you this time? Come on, and in we go. You are absolutely insane. What is wrong with you? I don't get it. All right, come on. Thank you. No emergency light. We're not going anywhere strange this time. Unless. Why are you going off? You weren't, you're not going off now. Alright. Alright. You've won my attention. The doctor gets most of my attention these days. I know. Don't even... Where are we going anyway? Where do you want to go? Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh... Well... I suppose that might be good. Kill over. Oh! Okay, that'll be fun. Uh, huh? All right. Well, I guess. What should I say? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Doctor's gonna kill me if he hears this. Alonzi. Aha! 